you know, thousands of years ago uh -huh. to travel back to the Godhead to tell the Godhead that the Archons, who are the Aryans, by the way, that the mm. evil Archons had taken over the entire planet and that they needed, you know, help because the mm -hmm. Divas had been driven off the planet. The mm -hmm. Divas, of course, are the nature spirits. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as Tolkien shows us very clearly in The Lord of the Rings, yeah. Sauron and Sargon are destroying nature uh, to fuel and finance some mysterious project. And yeah. if you go back and look and see who, what, you know, in history, you know, who Sauron is, it's obvious that he's talking about Sargon. Sargon was the head of uh, the first real king uh, of the Kali Yuga in Mesopotamia. He started calendars, he started clocks, he started the work day, he huh. started everything. And he was an Aryan. And, and so you can see that there's this, regimented thing that starts entering in and removes us from the natural state of a highly advanced hunter-gatherer, which is really what human beings are. And mm -hmm. that's our natural state. Um, you know, very close to the earth, not no agriculture, uh, all fresh foods, a um, lot of hunting, a lot of gathering. Mm -hmm. Very spiritual, though, not a... Uh, not a uh, um, grunting uh, uh, life, but a, a wonderful, beautiful life filled with meditation and, and a much higher standard of living, which was what was going on before the Aryans emerged. Mm. Wow. Now, are, is there any connection between the Aryans and then the German Aryans that uh, were involved with uh, one of the world wars? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, um, all of the uh, German Nazis were obsessed with the lore of of a uh, of people that lived in the in the under un, under the earth. The Nordic, weren't they? Yes, and and yeah. they and they were obsessed with it. And and Hitler even told people that he had met the new man, i.e. the Aryans. That he is mm. a terrible. He said, and uh, and they received all of their technology, the Bell technology, which was a mercury spinning mercury, which powered the UFOs. Mm. They received all of that stuff from the Aryans. Mm. Um, they had contacted them and told them how, what to do, where to go, oh. what, what, and that's how the Nazis, from 1930 to 1945, did the most astonishing. Uh, advances ever in human history. They invented the laser, UFOs, they invented radar, they invented, uh, uh, there's so many things in television, uh, so many things, uh, that it's ridiculous. There's no, no, no group of people could ever do that. But they did it. And, um, and by the way, you know, this was all being financed by the Rothschilds and right, England right. and America, including George Bush, uh, George Senior. Bush's grandfather. That's right. That's right. And it's right. And it's all coming out of Skull and Bones. And Skull and Bones has a, um, a number, a secret number that no one knows what it means. And mm. the number is three two two. Huh. Yeah. Well, three two two is quite obvious. It's the first day of Aries. Oh. Okay. Aries is Mars. Mars is March. March is the only planet that's our only uh, month that's named after a planet. Huh. And. Um, all alchemy begins in Aries. Wow. So these are the alchemists, and uh, these are the high magicians, and these are the great white brotherhood. Um, Kut Humi, who talked to uh, Blavatsky, was an Aryan. Um, gee, you could go on and on. And then the king of the world, according to the Tibetans, lives in an underground city named Shambhala underneath the Himalayas, and he's, he's chalk white. Huh. Yep. And then, of course, we know this is common knowledge that we brought over all the uh, the Nazi scientists through certainly did. paperclip and, and and installed them in high positions, including, I think, uh, the top of NASA. Well, absolutely, they did. And um, Werner von Braun told uh, Carol Rose in his Paramore, you know, right near his death, he said, he said, you'll see, you'll see. In the end, they'll blame all of, they'll say all of this was caused by the aliens. And he started laughing. Wow. Yeah, uh, that's wow. right from the horse's mouth. And listen, though, there's, 
there's, it, 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 there's more than just that. It's been pretty much proven beyond any shadow of a doubt that the entire bottom third of South America was given over to the Nazis at the end of World War II. And mm-hmm. that was their country, and they owned both sides, Chile and Argentina. Wow. And they ran them. Pinochet was their their puppet, and so was uh, um, uh, the other guy. <laughs> I forget his name, the, the Argentinian dictator that was there for years and years. And, and if you ever got close to anything that they were doing in the mountains, you were disappeared. Wow. In Argentina, thousands and thousands of people were disappeared. Hikers would get near these Nazi facilities where they were building these huge craft and they would oh, disappear. And if you look at Jacques Vallée's work on the, where UFO sightings and where they are and how many of their been and all of that, which he did copious work for 30 years, you will find that 75% of UFO sightings are in the bottom third of South America. Wow. Yeah, wow. they're building. You can type type in Santiago, Chile, December uh, 2008 and watch the uh, YouTube video of about 40 craft flying over Santiago. I think you can almost see them waving out the windows. <laughs> Jeez. See you later, suckers. Wow. Well, what in the heck are we going to do about all this? We can do Well, you know, it. here's the thing. We don't know. And, you know, I'm not saying there is going to be this thing because these people could be as wacky as they come. Yeah. Um, I think actually their number. Uh, but, but, but here's the thing. Their original number was 2442. That was when they said that the end of the Kali Yuga was coming, according to these ancient texts. Uh-huh. And I think that they found out uh, by deciphering the long count calendar in the late 1880s uh-huh. that there may be a chance and it isn't 2442, but it's 2012. And yeah. so they hit the pedal to the metal and created the 20th century and uh, got out of Dodge. And uh, they're up there, but there may still be 400 years left. Uh, yeah, I mean, their uh, number system definitely says 2442. Uh, um, that, it's a big mystery that we're all trying to, to uh, uncover and figure out. Um, it's very interesting, very interesting. The... Um, the entire uh, number system that these people use have been using uh, since they arrived here um, is a higher dimensional or hyperdimensional number system. Mm. And there's only three places on Earth that well, the architecture of the of the uh, that we've looked at. No, there's many places on Earth that use their numerical system, this hyperdimensional numerical system. Mm-hmm. But the three places on Earth that have it the most are Giza, the Great Pyramid of Giza, Stonehenge, and the U.S. Capitol. Huh. And I'm talking about knowledge that no one knows about that wow. would have been almost you would think nearly impossible for the guys that built the US Capitol to know yet they did. Well the Dan Brown just came out with another one of his thrillers about the US Capitol. Yeah, well they're doing it but when uh, the sacred geometry of time comes out by Robert Lawler, they'll put uh, Dan Brown and the rest of them right in their place. <laughs> <laughs> well of course they're 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 thrill thriller writers. They're yeah. not uh, esoteric scholars by any means. No, Dan Brown's an apologist for the Freemasons. Um, that book is an apology for the Freemasons. Mm, mm. Um, the uh, guy, what's his name, Ronnie Howard, who made uh, Angels and Demons, and the other book, The Da Vinci Code, based on his books. He's mm. a Freemason. Oh, so, uh, the Freemasons that. have a, uh, their agenda, and their agenda is to get out of Dodge and yeah. leave us all here. And that's long oh. truth of it. A lot of people are doing things. Patrick Gerald's going to. Um, someplace in Africa where there's deep caves. Um, I'm heading to Peru. Uh, you know, there's people that are doing things. There's things you can do. What about building a boat? <laughs> well, it will work. The problem is if you can get past that initial coronal mass ejection, oh. then the resultant tidal waves and, and you know, expected 400 mile an hour winds, um, you know, my buddy Cliff High is building a boat. I know that, and it's a pretty cool boat. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking read, about I, buying one myself just in case. I just read his article on that, and I, my my jaw dropped on it. It was almost like uh, reading your articles. It was like, yes. 
you know, just chock full of uh, hidden meaning, and uh, at least that's what I got out of it. You can take it on a literal level, of course, but uh, there was a, there's a lot more there than, than meets the eye, I think. And yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, he's going to be coming back on the show soon, I hope. Um, well, there's but, kind of a um, a strange thing going on where uh, there's just a certain percentage of people that get it, and they really don't even need to discuss it anymore. And right, and right. And I are in that group, and you know, it's like, well, if you don't see it, that's your problem. You know, we're right. taking care of business. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I, He's I'm building a boat. I'm headed to South America. <laughs> right. I'm probably going to stay right here. I just uh, have no desire to, uh, for, for whatever reason, I've been stationed here. And um, so... There's yeah. not a whole lot you can do. I there mean, really isn't. Not, it's a matter it's, of luck, even in a boat. Yeah, so. yeah. And with my resources, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get further than uh, leaving California, probably. Yeah, but I do well, know that the military is building underground bases as, as fast as you can flip pancakes at Sambo's. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, they're just scurrying around, but that's not going to help any either. Uh, well, I think that the uh, air would get sucked out of them, and then you got the crust moving around. I don't know. I wouldn't think it's a good idea. I, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> no. I, no, I, I, don't, you know, I, 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 I'm just joking. I'm probably not going to South America. I'll just take a deep breath and... And hope I get through it. I, you know, I've had a good life already, so um, well, yeah. I feel sorry for the other people if it happens. I don't concern my life actually with uh, with disasters and things. I'm, I'm I'm actually glad the Aryans are leaving, and I hope we get a 400 year reprieve and maybe longer from them. I think oh. they've been a terrible influence on the planet, and they've left a wrecked planet behind. And Terrible. we've got to pick the mess up, and so I don't really appreciate. And I hope they did take a few pot shots at them as they were scooting out of Dodge. Um, <laughs> frankly, uh, yeah. that's how I feel about them. So, yeah. uh, you know, I, 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 if if Obama Obama's got a terrible mess to handle, and uh, oh yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't pity, you know, I don't pity uh, uh, politicians. But at the same time, boy, I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to be there now. Uh uh-uh. uh Well, now, and, there's been a lot of talk about disclosure happening very soon that uh, was yeah. supposed to happen on on the television. It was the time was scheduled and everything. Yeah, but um, I'll tell you when I'll tell you when disclosure happened. Happened just about the last hour. <laughs> that's the disclosure. Yeah, yeah, that's the disclosure. Any anything else is not just just not there. And David Wilcott going out of his out of his way to say there's going to be a disclosure and he thinks that there's going to be these aliens landing and everything. I'm sorry, I love David, he's a great guy, but no, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. Disclosure yeah. is that they're leaving. And uh, the people in the know and people like Cliff High or a lot of other people already know all this. They know what's going on. You can look yeah. at it on the web, you can see him in Ed Grimsley's glasses going through the night sky. No, we know what's going on. Wow. And uh, believe me, there's uh, J- Gary McKinnon is being extradited to the U.S. or cracking into the North Pentagon's bases. He says there's a secret space program with gigantic ships and oh yeah, hundreds yeah. of thousands of personnel. Probably most of the missing people of the last 30 or 40 years is well, I didn't want to say what happened to them, but. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we know that they've had free technology and. Oh, oh, uh, huh? Okay. Um, well, you know, uh, it's just about time for us to uh, to fly out of here ourselves. There you go. Um, so uh, let's. Uh, would you mention your uh, websites again? And yeah, uh, sacredmysteries.com has all my videos, including the new Infinity, the Ultimate Trip, uh, Journey Beyond Death, my new film, and jwidener.com has all my high weirdness articles. So just go there, or just type in Jay Widener on Google and look at all the nice things that people say and the nasty things people say about. Well, oh, I can't believe anybody would say anything nasty about you, Jay. <laughs> You're a terrific guy, and I love having you on the show, and you'll have to come back again soon, okay? My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, and be sure and go check out his articles and his website, because I'm telling you, it's mind-blowing. All right, thanks a lot, Jay, and good night, everybody.